Uh, Dr. Lee, to the next question. Hi, ma'am. I am Vidya from Dowling Healthcare. Okay. Is there any advance of use any particular method to avoid pregnancy? Okay. Well, I'll come to the biggest advantage of using a method for contraception. I suppose it's peace of mind. You're more comfortable. <laughs> but then there are certain advantages which each method has. Now, if you are uh, having sex with somebody whom you're not very sure of, Maybe a condom is very useful because that will prevent sexually transmitted infections. Mm -hmm. Even pills have been made to sort of sort of help certain people. So you have contraceptive pills which can be given to breastfeeding mothers mm -hmm. because a regular contraceptive pill might reduce the chances of her successfully feeding the baby. So you have oh. tailor-made pills for certain people. We have pills meant for people who have other problems like say excessive acne, that's pimples on your face, okay. oily skin, excessive facial hair. So you have each pill which is different and each one is tailored for certain groups. Oh. And when you're looking at uh, IUDs, that's your intrauterine devices, devices. Okay. you have uh, devices for people who have light periods, you have mm -hmm. devices for people who have heavy periods, there are devices for people who have more pain during periods. So there are a lot of options which are actually available. And if you are seeing the right person, they might actually go into these problems which you have and find out what is the best option. Okay. So you've got it's like a big cafeteria where you have a lot of options. Okay. So can you just tell me uh, more about uh, IUDs or intrauterine devices? Well, intrauterine devices are synthetic uh, implants which actually are kept inside the woman's uterus. Okay. Now generally this is for somebody who already has had a child because it's much easier to place it there. Okay. The most common one is what everybody knows as copper tea which contains a small amount of copper mm -hmm. and it's tea in shape so that's why it's called as a copper tea and it's been there for a very very long period. Most of the copper teas which are available work for between 3 and 10 years depending on what make it is of. That means once it is inserted, you don't have to remove it forever. That's correct. Okay. So it's it's like once you put it, you just forget it. Okay. So maybe only when you need a change, say after three years or ten years. Or when they're planning for a it. child or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. If you have one child, put a copper tea. Whenever you want a second child, just remove it. So you are at peace till then, and you don't have to worry about that. Just forget about yeah. that. And especially about people who keep on forgetting taking their pills. A copper okay. tea is a boon that way. Okay. Uh, does it have any side effects? Well, everybody thinks that copper tea is a very dangerous thing because you hear a lot of people with painful periods and more bleeding during periods. No, but that's a very small fraction and these are the people who actually come out and talk about it. Uh -huh. Whereas most people who are happy about it, well, you won't expect a woman who has had a copper tea and she's comfortable with it to go and talk around and say, look, I've got a copper tea. Okay. So that's a problem. It's negative publicity which creates a lot of problems. Okay. And those people which do have problems also, uh, most of them, uh, the problems do settle down in two or three months time. So if you are patient enough, maybe that's something which will be very useful for you. Okay. Uh, Dr. another question here. Uh, are there any male contraceptive methods? Well, uh, the condom is the most commonly used male contraceptive method, but uh, again, it's something which is user dependent. That means you have to use it properly and use it at the right time. Uh, there's a lot of research which is happening to find out something like a copper tea which might work for four or five years for the man. But unfortunately, there's nothing right now in the market which I can discuss, but there are things, a lot of things in the pipeline. Okay. Uh, what are the permanent uh, uh, contraceptive methods? Well, if you have decided that you don't have any other, want any other children or you're not planning to remarry, then the best option is to go for either the male option which is called as a vasectomy, okay. where it's like called the snip somewhere, and where you actually cut the duct which actually let the sperms go outside, mm -hmm. or in the woman where it's called a tubectomy, where a part of the tube, that's a fallopian tube, okay. which is the tube which actually lets the egg meet the sperm mm -hmm. and that part is cut off. Again, these are both our surgical method. That means you have to have an operation to get this done. Okay. And it's a permanent method. That means you should be very, very sure that you don't want any more children. Okay. So we move on to the next question, Doctor. Hi, ma'am. I'm Demya from Dublin Healthcare. Uh, could you be explained, can we avoid pregnancy by using safe period? Right. The concept of safe period is something which uh, many people know about because even though a woman has a period once every month, that means if you have a period now and you're expecting say 30 days from now, we know that there's only a short period in between these 30 days where a woman has a very good chance of achieving a pregnancy. And the egg which is released from the ovary stays in the body for around two days. So that's a time when she has a good chance at achieving a pregnancy. But uh, 
if a woman has slightly irregular periods, uh, the chances of you trying to pinpoint that period where is yes, the chance of pregnancy and avoiding it altogether becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Another problem which confounds the whole issue is that the sperm stays much longer in the body. It mm -hmm. can stay for anywhere up to five days inside the woman's body. Okay. So you might actually have had intercourse five days before ovulation mm -hmm. but still fall pregnant. So you have to have very regular cycles. You have to have a very uh, clear idea about when you are going to ovulate oh. and you should have the ability to say no when you are actually ovulating which sometimes find gets difficult so in general people who try to practice the safe method or the safe period method have a chance of not falling pregnant 80 percent of the time but okay. it also means that it doesn't work in 20 percent of cases okay. which is a very high failure rate okay. considering that say the oral contraceptive pill the chances of it failing is something like 1 in 1000 to 1 in 10,000. So that's very, very low, 0.1 percentage compared to 20 percentage. So that's why most doctors would not recommend a safe period method, okay. though it's still better than doing nothing. Okay, that means it's uh, a little risky for it. That's true.